Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Moneyball Cards. Um, as you can see, I'm in a cast. Uh, recently had surgery, so I haven't really filmed over the past uh, couple weeks. I've been recovering, and I'm going to be in this thing for another month. Uh, so uh, I'm not hyped up on painkillers, so I decided I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, film an episode um, uh, since I, I feel better. So. Uh, before we get into this episode, uh, I wanted to show off a, a card that I did buy recently, and it is related to this episode. Um, I bought an Evan Mobley um, NBA Hoops uh, base card. Um, I'm a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, so he's going to be a, a new PC player of mine. And uh, before I get into the, the data, I want to show uh, you know what I did to, to buy this card. Um, I got it for four dollars and uh, using this market movers chart uh, basically when this uh, product came out uh, Evan Mobley he's the favor for rookie of the year he uh, this card was around twenty dollars and this is NBA hoops uh, uh, no base card should be worth around twenty dollars um, and and I knew that and I knew it would go down uh, once breaks happened and and more uh, product got out there on the market uh, this card was gonna continually go down and down and down. So I waited uh, about a month and yeah, that's, that's generally the, the time I would wait is about uh, about four to six weeks. Um, and then I feel like there, there's enough out there for supply um, to overpower demand, uh, especially with base cards. Uh, so I bought this for around, around $4. I'm going to hold on to this card forever, and uh, uh, if you want to see more uh, from, from Market Movers, um, go ahead and use the, the code MONEYBALL. There should be a link in the description, and uh, it'll give you 20% uh, off. But Evan Mobley, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, third overall pick, uh, rookie of the year favorite. Um, I watch the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, every single game. I have the, the NBA League package. So I feel like I'm a, I'm a good person to talk about Evan Mobley and, and his uh, buying potential and, uh, and taking a look at the, the numbers. If, it's, if, if he's someone you, you should buy to invest for long term for the future or if he's just someone that uh, you know, is just on a really good team. Uh, he, is, he is the favorite because Cleveland is... I, I wouldn't say a contender, but they're getting up there. They're just two and a half games behind first place in the East, and the East is pretty competitive this year. Uh, and that's not a coincidence uh, with Evan Mobley uh, joining the roster, but you do have Jared Allen who joined the roster. Uh, Darius Garland has made a leap. Kevin Love has stepped off, stepped up off the bench. Chetty Osman, um, good uh, starter sometimes. Uh, Lori Markinen when he's healthy. It's a good roster, and uh, there's a lot of mouths to feed, uh, so it's it's not like a Ja Morant or LaMelo Ball type situation where he's the face of the franchise from the get-go, uh, not like even Cade Cunningham, uh, face of the franchise from the get-go, and and no matter what, uh, their their franchise is going to put in all the resources to build around them. That's not the, that's not the case with Evan Mobley. So NBA uh, rookie ladder, uh, Evan Mobley is kind of, I wouldn't say locked in at number one, uh, but he, he's got a pretty solid grip on the number one spot. And then you have um, Scotty Barnes, Josh Giddy. Uh, Cade Cunningham and Franz Wagner, uh, they're kind of interchangeable from two through five. Uh, I would say, you know, they, they kind of move around, uh, but Evan Mobley stays in his spot. Uh, as, unless an injury happens, I think that would be uh, the downfall uh, for Evan Mobley's top spot. Uh, but so far, uh, not, not too much of a threat. You do have uh, his numbers, you know, uh, almost 15 points, eight rebounds almost three assists. Uh, he, he does get a lot of blocks too. He's very good defensively. And then you have Scotty Barnes with kind of the, the same numbers, uh, probably not the same defensive type numbers, but uh, Evan Mobley's here because of uh, his, uh, his shooting percentage, his defense, and the fact that the, he's, he's helped the Cleveland Cavaliers change to become a, uh, a, a top team 
in the East so quickly. Uh, no other player is doing that. On uh, basketballreference.com, uh, uh, we can see some of his uh, defensive stats. Almost two blocks a game, almost uh, one steal a game. Scroll down his per 36. He plays about 34 minutes a game, so this doesn't really change too much. Uh, so he's you, you can't say this is a, a rookie that's you know playing 12 minutes a game, and we can kind of uh, multiply it to see what he would do if he played three times as long. Uh, he's he's basically at, at he's a starter, so it, it is what it is. My one concern with Evan Mobley is his uh, his three point uh, percentage. Uh, it, he he shoots this shot willingly. Uh, he's not afraid to shoot it um, like a Ben Simmons. He doesn't just sit there and hold it at the three point line. He if if they leave him open, he will shoot it. Uh, he just uh, he's not there yet. Um, but uh, I feel like he he's he can become you know a decent three point shooter. Uh, not an amazing three point shooter, um, but uh, he's. He's kind of built to be the, the defensive guy on uh, with his athleticism, and then uh, he's working on his post game. He, he's he's getting better with his his turnaround, uh, you know, fade away uh, from the uh, the block. I do like this stat uh, field goal percentage by distance. Uh, you, you'll see he he does get a lot of his uh, field goal percentage from really close uh, inside three feet. 73.6%. Uh, so he's he's built for that. So before you buy Evan Mobley, um, of course there's base cards out there that are cheap. Um, the the newest product's going to be uh, Don Russ uh, with the rated rookies, and this is actually where one of my favorite autograph cards is. Uh, this is the next day autograph. Uh, the day that they're drafted, the very next day they sit down and they sign these. Uh, so they actually didn't have next day autographs last year uh, due to the the pandemic, uh, but the next day autos are back. I will say that they're they're kind of fragile, and if you if you look on eBay and or if you pull one and you find one with really good corners and you get a PSA 10, the the pop count on the PSA 10s are going to be very low for this card. They're just a very tough grade uh, due to the nature that, you know, they just got drafted. They're sitting down at this table. They're just knocking out autograph after autograph after autograph. They don't care about the condition. So it's it's a very tough grade, uh, but this is the first, it's not the first on-card auto that you can get. Uh, there's the pen pals with Don Russ Elite, but this is the, the first autograph where, you know, it's, it's a high chase type autograph. Uh, and and I, lo I love this this autograph. I would hope to get one of these myself, but I'm afraid that the, the prices on this at release are going to be pretty crazy. Uh, who, who knows uh, what the, where the hobby is right now, what the, the price is going to be on this. So in, in conclusion with Evan Mobley, I, I would say if, you, if you're buying him hoping that his numbers are going to go from 15 points a game, 8 rebounds, to... 25 points 30 points uh, and 15 rebounds and three blocks I, I Wouldn't buy them for that. Uh, I'm buying them for a PC and I'm buying the the cheaper ones um, He's he's not going to be a John Morant where his numbers uh, explode or Lamelo ball where his numbers explode or even Luca because uh, he's he's not the face of the franchise. It's kind of the face of the Cleveland Cavaliers is kind of this just group this young core uh, and it, he is one of them uh, but it's a it's a group of guys not just him so I wouldn't buy him expecting uh, huge uh, huge uh, gains in the future uh, I, I feel like he's just gonna be kind of you know neutral where he is he he obviously needs to put on uh, some weight and some muscle and uh, his his post game will get better he can move up to 20 points a game and you know, 10 to 12 rebounds in that three blocks, uh, but he, he's not going to be the guy getting the ball in a game-winning situation in the playoffs in a game seven. That's probably going to go to Darius Garland or, or even Kevin Love right now might take that shot, but uh, at, I, I wouldn't give it that Mobley. He's just quiet and calm in nature. Uh, if he's, he's still a good guy to buy. Uh, probably, I would call him a safe buy, a safe purchase. 
Uh, but that's my analysis on Evan Mobley. Uh, I'll be watching you know the rest of his games for the rest of the season. So uh, I'll probably get an update uh, later on in the year on, on how I feel about him. Uh, so I hope you liked this episode, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Moneyball Cards.